Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. The environment in which the Inuit lived inspired a mythology filled with adventure tales of whale and walrus hunts. Long winter months of waiting for caribou herds or sitting near breathing holes hunting seals gave birth to stories of mysterious and sudden appearance of ghosts and fantastic creatures. Some Inuit looked into the aurora borealis or northern lights to find images of their family and friends dancing in the next life. However, some Inuit believed that the lights were more sinister and if you whistled at them, they would come down and cut off your head. This tale is still told to children today. For others, they were invisible giants, the souls of animals, a guide to hunting, and as a spirit for the Angokuk to help with healing. They relied upon the Angokuk shaman for spiritual interpretation. The nearest thing to a central deity is the old woman, Sedna, who lived beneath the sea. The waters a central food source, were believed to contain great gods. The Inuit practiced a form of shamanism based on animist principles. They believed that all things had a form of spirit, including humans, and that to some extent, these spirits could be influenced by a pantheon of supernatural entities that could be appeased when one required some animal or inanimate thing to act in a certain way. The Ngunkuk of a community of Inuit was not the leader, but rather a sort of healer and psychotherapist who tended wounds and offered advice, as well as invoking the spirits to assist people in their lives. His or her role was to see, interpret, and exhort the subtle and unseen. And Gunkuit were not trained. They were held to be born with the ability and recognized by the community as they approached adulthood. Inuit religion was closely tied to a system of rituals integrated into daily life of the people. These rituals were simple but held to be necessary. According to customer Inuit saying, the great peril of our existence lies in the fact that our diet consists entirely of souls. By believing that all things, including animals, have souls like those of humans, any hunt that failed to show appropriate respect and customer supplication would only give the liberated spirits cause to avenge themselves. The harshness and unpredictability of life in the Arctic ensured that Inuit lived with concern for the uncontrollable, where a streak of bad luck could destroy an entire community. To offend a spirit was to risk its interference with an already marginal existence. The Inuit understood that they had to work in harmony with supernatural powers to provide the necessities of day-to-day -day life.